everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we normally would be talking about helper hair, but we are going to talk about skincare. Why is that important? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. We are going to take a look at skincare. Skincare is an important part of our everyday lives, or at least it should be in one way or another. But why is this important? Well, most of us think of skin, um, when we do think of skin, we think of uh, looking younger, looking older, not liking what we look like, wishing we looked like it was different. Why, do my, why does my skin look this way and I can't get rid of this? But it takes an understanding of skin itself to know what is the right product for you to target that particular issue. Or maybe you have several things that you're interested in treating. But let's look at skin itself. Skin is an organ of the body. Did you realize that? In fact, it's the most versatile organ and it's the largest organ of the human body. We didn't really notice that, did we? When we think of organs, we think of the heart, the lungs, the livers, the kidneys, you know, those kinds of things. But no, it is. It is a purposeful organ and it has a big job. So what does skin do? Well, first of all, it regulates temperature. It stops water loss from the deeper tissues. It houses sensory uh, receptors that tell us about temperature, about pressure and touch, vibrations, and it even tells us about pain. It protects, the skin protects the underlying tissues against injury and the effects of harmful chemicals. It is the first line of defense against disease because if it's unbroken, it can prevent disease causing microorganisms to enter the body, which can wreak havoc on the whole human organism system. That's everything inside you. Skin also synthesizes biochemicals. And that's a fancy way of saying that through sunlight and through its own mechanisms of biochemical dynamics, it actually produces certain things that are used by the body. So first thing, it uses sunlight or UV um, rays to create vitamin D for the body. That is an essential and critical vitamin necessary for strong bones. Melanin is also another thing that's produced, and it's done as a defense against sun damage. So when the melanin is produced, we get a tan. It prevents the skin from getting um, damaged even further. But the UV, different UVB rays will go through that and go past melanin. But melanin is a defense mechanism. Another thing that skin does is it produces keratin. That is a protein that helps to make the skin waterproof and thereby helping to regulate water and loss control, um, even moisture, uh, keeping moisture in, inside or internally to make sure that the other organs stay hydrated. The skin also excretes small amounts of waste. So you, we do use that to get rid of some wastes and skin can heal itself when, uh, from minor injuries. It also contains hair follicles that help aids in the heat regulation of the human body. It also contains sebaceous glands, which help keep hair and skin nice and soft and pliable. We have nails that help do the same thing, protective coverings for the tips of the fingers, and then also sweat glands are housed within the skin tissues. And that keeps the body, those help to keep the body from getting overheated and help, it plays a part in the temperature control. It also, when you sweat, you uh, produce uric acid and urea, which are some of the byproducts or the waste products that are expelled from the, from the skin surfaces. So that's a lot, isn't it? I bet you didn't know skin did all that. It does it all over your body, on your face, on your chest, on your legs, on your back, everywhere. Everywhere you have skin, it's doing this job. 
So it's such a big job that, you know, you can look at your skin and it can tell you a lot about your health. It can also raise, uh, raise any kind of a red flag that tells you that there's something maybe starting to go wrong. And it does this by changes in texture, changes in color, and even the presence of itching. So we wanna make sure and pay attention to those things because all of those kinds of signs could be a sign of something more serious. So in order to do this job, the, the skin has to produce multiple skin cells and it does through does so through the base layers and as the cells are produced brand new baby cells they move towards the outer surface of the skin so that finally when they reach the outer portion they're they're treated with keratin remember that's that protein that keeps them um water keeps the skin waterproof but it also is a place where the cells die and they can be sloughed off or they can be left there to, to accumulate. So you can understand now why, why exfoliation and using something like a microdermabrasion product is really important. Um, but doing something to remove those skin cells can, can help your body perform at its best, or at least your skin. It does contribute to the body working well. Now that process, there's 50 million cells dying on your body every day. 50 million, that's anywhere from 30 to 40,000 per minute. So there's another indicator that tells us, oh, we really do need to slough a little more frequently. So you can do that with body puffs or all that kind of thing, you know, on your body. But what we're wanting to do is to pay attention to what gives us the appearance of looking older. So what are the main contributing factors to that? Well, number one is the aging process itself. How many years have you been here on this earth? That takes its toll because the body quits producing collagen at around 1% every year, starting at age 30. So if we've been here, I'm going to be 70, so that's another 40. I've lost 40% of my collagen production. So anything that I can do to stop the ra rapid decline of that and also maybe build up collagen process and uh, production in my own skin would be a good thing. But I've already, I'm approaching 50% gone. Another thing that contributes to this um, looking older appearance is the... Uh, exposure to sun and UV damage. So the sun and the UVB uh, rays will damage the collagen and all the collagen producing cells below the skin. So we want to prevent that as possible, if possible. Another contributing factor is an unhealthy lifestyle. And this includes the consumption of nicotine in any form, whether it's through cigars, cigarettes, um, vapes, uh, even though it does, it's not tobacco, if it contains nicotine, you're still consuming nicotine and it's the nicotine that actually causes the biggest damage in your skin cells. Um, another thing that contributes to it, the lack of a decent diet. Now that everybody struggles to eat well, I know that. And if you can't eat well, which it can be extremely expensive, can't it? But um, Supplementing with vitamins can certainly bridge that gap. So don't be afraid to do that. And that's another good reason to try and, and uh, supplement. Um, the presence of stress in our lives will take its toll and create an um, aging appearance. So what we wanna do is um, control that stress if we can, or manage it. We uh, The stress process on our body creates cortisol, and that is a hormone that blocks the production of um, collagen. It destroys it much more quickly. And so we've got some issues with the presence of cortisol in our body. So managing that stress or getting rid of it as quickly as possible is really important. Pollution, or maybe another, another uh, word for that is your environment. Whether it's external environment or internal in the house, 
sometimes being exposed to different kinds of pollutants on a regular basis will, will cause an effect. Now, another thing that, that I did not find listed, but I know for a fact because of my science background, is the lack of sleep. Oh my gosh, that is so important. Your body does the majority of its healing work and reparative work while you sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, and that's that happens over a, about three to four days, that alone puts you in a pre-diabetic state. So it's very important that you get enough sleep. Let your body heal, let it do its work, give it all the ingredients that you need. You can't bake a cake without flour and sugar and eggs, can you? Try baking a cake with just the shortening and the baking powder. It's not gonna work, is it? So sleep is a very, very important part of that, okay? So to prevent some of those things, we've already talked a little bit about that, but you do need to have skin protection. You wanna reduce your stress man and manage your stress, improve your health uh, lifestyle, um, and then have a good skincare regimen. That is going to help replenish what maybe you're lacking. And then the use of certain types of acids to address certain particular problems. And skincare does this. A regular skincare line will do all of this. The steps that are always included in a good skincare line includes cleansing to remove anything on the surface of your skin, the dirt, the oil, the soil that you know accumulates on our skin, so that when you do put products on there, they're absorbed into the skin completely. After cleansing, you would want to tone. And what that is for, the purpose of toning is to return your skin from a certain pH of the cleansing process, rapidly get it to the pH where it will absorb the nutrients of the products you're gonna put on there. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can purchase a toner, or you can just let your skin dry naturally, and that will automatically take it back to the 7.0 pH that it needs to be in order to absorb the, the ingredients, the beneficial and therapeutic ingredients of the products that you're going to use. The treatments themselves are going to be important. They would be targeted for certain appropriate problems that you might have or uh, goals that you wanna set for yourself, maybe a, a, a brighter complexion or less lines and wrinkles, those would be handled in the treatment section. And those are typically done uh, with serums. And so that's a good product to add or to have that how you can tell if you've got a good skincare line. And then finally, moisturizing and finishing with UV protection. Moisturizing is very important. We want to seal in and replenish whatever moisture is lost or whatever moisture is currently there or that you've added to just to make sure that it's absorbed into the skin and helps, helps to accomplish the goals that you've set for yourself and your skincare line. Now, I have discovered a nude product line for myself. I don't think it's that new, but I was introduced to this by Barb from Take Control Beauty. Thanks, Barb. <laughs> she introduced uh, this to her subscribers, of which I'm one of them. And um, that was last spring, so I decided I would go ahead and try them out myself. She swore by them, and I trust her, so I wanted to see what these the Hubble hullabaloo was all about. And so I've had about five months worth of using these products every day. So let's take a look at these products, and I will explain what's in them, and we will take a look at how I use them. Now behind me, I have right here, Ella Frida products. And that is the line, the skincare line that I started to use. Now, one thing we didn't talk about, the role that genetics plays. I mean, we all have different genetics and those play an incredibly important part and role in what you have to work with. What I want you to remember about this is, it is never too late to start you're going to see improvements in your skin from what you see today, no matter what, where you are on this continuum. If you're thinking that you didn't start it back in your 30s, 
That's not what we want to be thinking about. But what we want to be thinking about is how can you be your best self today? And I believe that these products help me to be able to see an improvement in my skin. So let's take a look at what they have to offer here. We've got nine products total. We have a microdermabrasion scrub that you use two to three times a week. They have a facial cleanser. It's coconut, honey, and aloe. Smells really nice. And it's a very nice, gentle cleanser. And it actually leaves my face feeling nice and clean too. We have the trio of their workhorses, which I, that's what I call them. These are the acids in their uh, serum form that you would put on first. We have the eye gel, which is a vitamin C. They have a facial vitamin C, which you would then put on the rest of your face. And then you would top it off with your hyaluronic acid. Um, I use all three of these together. Number one, because that's just for my eyes. Number two, uh, vitamin C works great. And so does hyaluronic acid by themselves. They trap moisture, they brighten your skin, they take away fine lines and wrinkles, they help promote collagen production. But when research has recently found that when you use vitamin C and hyaluronic acid together, it has a synergistic uh, uh, effect. It really makes the uh, a higher impact on your skin and you can almost see it happen immediately, see immediate results. Now here is their moisturizing line. Uh, they have a deep uh, wrinkle moisturizer. They have face and neck moisturizer. They have another moisturizer that is includes retinol. This is another acid that traps moisture and the, you would use this only at night. This I use morning and night and then I'll put on a moisturizer. That's after I've done my cleansing. They also have a facial moisturizer that's very, very gentle and their, their motto is a little goes a long way. And that's true. Maybe not at first. If you're first beginning to use a good skincare regimen, you're going to notice that your skin requires more lotion. And that's evidence that there's dead skin cells on there because it's absorbing more of the creams and lotions than what it should. And so that brings me back to the scrub. This microdermabrasion scrub is very gentle and very, very nice. It has tiny little microbeads. Let's see if I can let you see that. Tiny little microbeads in there that when used, they gently remove that top layer of skin that has been left there. Now I find that over, over here on my temples, I have a lot of leftover <laughs> buildup of dry skin over there. And, and so I've been concentrating on that area. When I do my whole face, I just make a point of doing that. And I'm noticing a big difference. I don't have any scaliness or where my foundation kind of sticks there. Now, a good rule of thumb when you are applying multiple products is to first, put on the thinnest product. So out of all of these products, the serums I would put, I put my eye on first, and then I go to the vitamin C because it is very liquidy. It um, runs just like, almost like water. The hyaluronic acid is a little firmer. So then I would put the hyaluronic acid on after I put these on. The second rule of thumb that you want to remember when you're putting on multiple products is to make sure that you let each product dry before you put on the next product. That way, all of the ingredients that are meant to be applied to the skin get absorbed into the skin before you add something else. Usually, you know, you can end up causing um, changes in the chemical construction of these ingredients when you put mix them together. So, but what we want to do is place these ingredients on the skin surface, let them dry, and then place the next product on. This line uh, is 
is very affordable too. One of these items, and I can't remember which one, is $26.95, but the rest of them are under $25 each. However, you can take advantage of some discounts. Number one, you can take a direct 15% discount by using my promo code underneath and going through the link that I'm gonna put down in the description box. 15% off of all of your purchases. However, if you want to purchase more, right now, they have a couple of specials going on. Number one, if you buy three, you get one free. If you buy five, you get two free. And they are throwing in free shipping for this month. And that starts today, which is September 20th. And it's going to run through October 20th. So this skincare line is on sale and it's very reasonable. So these are some incredible products and I love them. I hope that if you purchase any of these, that you find that you are having the same results. I noticed right away that my skin felt cleaner. It felt tighter. The pores on my face started to diminish. My skin felt hydrated in the morning. These are excellent moisturizers. But let me explain to you how I use them. Every morning and every night, I use the serums on a clean face. I will at nighttime clean. And then of course I'll use this two to three times a week. If I can remember, I have to try and remember to do that. <laughs> That's why it's probably lasted so long, right? Okay, but I love this moisture rising cleanser and it works very, very well. Then I place this on and as we're talking about nighttime, then what I end up doing is I'll use the retinol and I'll use one of, one of these. these um, this one happens to be the face and neck firming cream along with the retinol. All right, so that's nighttime. For daytime, what I end up doing is I splash my face with water, or if I take a shower in the morning, if I haven't taken it at night, I will splash my face with water or rinse it really good, kind of wipe all those sleepy bugs out of my eyes, and then blot it dry, and then I go ahead and I begin with my serums again. So I'm using these twice a day. And then what I do is I go ahead and I use the Deep Wrinkle Moisturizer and a Facial Moisturizer. And one pump usually will cover my whole face and a thin layer on my throat. So if you can get to that level, and that's going to mean that you're going to need to exfoliate to get those dead skin cells off of your skin so that your skin at the base layers can absorb these ingredients and give you the full benefit of their, uh, their formulations that will give you the best looking skin. And even as of today, you're going to see some wonderful changes. Softness and suppleness, what that will do, it's gonna make your skin perform better. It's going to make your makeup last longer because you're, it's gonna go on so smooth, it's not even gonna require half as much and I'm talking about foundation and primers and other creams. The other thing is you're gonna be using less and less of this to cover your whole face. So that's going to become more cost effective and it's going to make that those ingredients last longer. But don't forget the other things such as lifestyle changes, diet, water, sleep is another important thing because sleep, when your body is sleeping, it helps it repairs and does its heavy duty work. So it's recreating these healthier cells while you're sleeping. And you need to make sure you give it the right nutrition, either through your complete consumption of diet or your vitamins and water. <laughs> so I, these are really important. And excuse me for getting real nerdy on you. <laughs> my background is in science and all my credentials are in science. So I, I am passionate about this kind of um, care, personal care. And you know, we do things with wigs to take care of ourselves, make us feel better. Why not do something that's really good for you in taking care of your skin? 
So, I think I better close on that note. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope this was very informational for you. I hope it wasn't too long. But if you try this product or if you've had experience with it, please leave a comment below and let me know of your experience. I would love to know how, how you feel about these products. They are really, really nice products. So take advantage of those discounts while you can. And this is Coco saying I'll see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Alrighty, bye-bye.